Hey friends, it is your quirky, weird, creative, online internet makeup artist friend Catscash here to bring you another makeup effects video. As you can tell by today's title and the helmet, we are going to turn into a crewmate, a member from Among Us. So if you want to see more videos like this that we're going to body paint, I would definitely subscribe to this channel. We do videos every Monday and Friday here. We do effects videos, body paintings, beauty makeups while telling creepy, weird stories. So stick around if you want to see that. This indie game has been sweeping the nation for good reason. It is so much fun. These characters are called crewmates. They remind me of minions, but a little different. They have like one bone in their body. They look like thumbs and they're so cute. And they have these little space outfits. And they have skins. So like, I really like the flower one of course, but they have top hats, they have plants, just all different things you can add onto them. And the whole purpose of this game is there's one to three imposters who are killers in this game and you have meetings to vote for who is killing off people. It's something that's sweeping the nation right now because of the pandemic so you could play with so many friends online and so I thought we should turn into a Among Us inspired makeup today with the helmet of course. And of course we are going to do this whole video while we're talking about creepy scary stories that have happened to real life actual people while they're playing video games. So let's get started. Of course I wore red contacts. I just feel like it will help the look. We're gonna do some like dead sign of the dead bodies reported, a little signia on our face. Just something fun that I feel like would be easy for people to accomplish with some creams or aqua paints with some beauty makeup. If they're going out like for Halloween, they really like Among Us because all I have to get is less than a 20, around a $20 plastic helmet. And I already had this cute onesie. So just a disclaimer, you do not have to delete your eyebrows like I am doing. I just feel like it gives me more of a thumb-like personality, which reminds me of the crewmates from Among Us. You could definitely just still leave your eyebrows because this is kind of extra for Halloween to delete your eyebrows. But I'm going to be doing the laser, it looks like a flame type effect across my face and you'll just have to see. And I'm trying a new concealer today. This is from Dose of Colors and it's called Meet Your Hue Full Coverage Concealer. I have it in 08 Light. I've never tried Dose of Col Colors concealer, but we're gonna try her today because I want some full coverageness for this look. And this first story is way back when Steam was old, back in the retro days of Half-Life and Fortress, this person had an account where they usually played Half-Life and they played death matches generally with the mod on. I don't know what that means because I've never played Half-Life, but I do, do know what moderators means in video games. But at the time, this person only had around one friend online on Steam and they really didn't react, interact with other people or like make many other friends online while they were playing their games. And this person, he got an ad from this guy named Toymaker26. And he's never seen or heard that name before ever while he was playing online before. I'm just using some effects creams from Wet n Wild. NYX has some around this time of year. I feel like these are better quality than some of the ones you could find at Halloween stores to be honest. But a week later around the same exact time in day of the week, he got another notification from Toymaker26 saying that he had added him as a friend which really creeped him out because again he only had one friend on Steam. And he gave Toymaker26 the benefit of the doubt because no one really like knew him on there that maybe he did know him in real life. How did he find them and added him back as a friend? And as soon as he said that a chat box popped up and Toymaker said, Hi, are you okay? Something to that effect and before he could like generate a conversation of like, Oh, I'm good. How are you type thing in return? He sent him a link that was clearly a virus as a reply back. Being the fearless person he was, he decided to click it. Why not? No, I wouldn't. I've been hacked before. It's not fun. The webpage opened up with these very scary pictures of people deceased to the point where the bodies of the people were unrecognizable and it played on a loop and his body was generated in fear, which how did you stay long enough to even know it was a loop? Unless it was a really, really short loop. 
like I would not be messing with viruses, especially if I already knew it was a virus. Of course he tried to click out, but I guess his desktop, there was like a utility drive that was really close to what had popped up. So it kept opening and closing, opening and closing like the web page. And then like something in his message box popped up asking if he was okay. And then his computer just literally entirely shut down. I'm scarred. I would be terrified. His computer actually never turned on and forever it was a blue screen. Apparently every file on the computer had been corrupted and he had to get a new PC computer. To this day, he still has no idea who Toymaker26 is, but only that he had some amazing hacking skills. Because this guy was 13 at the time and he's scared to death ever since then to get hacked. For my eyeshadow today, I've decided to do a red glam look, something that's not too hard, that's like two or three basic colors with some lashes. For the base, I'm gonna be using the Dosa Colors concealer I've been using, and I'm gonna try out the new Pure Cosmetics Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. This was really hard to get. I waited in line for so long to get this. It's so worth it, I'm sure, because look at this double. These are the colors I'm gonna use today, and then these. I'm so excited. Christy is such an amazing YouTuber and she's so nice in person. And I'm so happy and proud of her for doing something like this. This is gorgeous, can't wait to try it. So this next story is called, it's like hide and seek, but halo and seek. This person recently built a PC all by himself and it wasn't as powerful as he wanted it to be, but he was still like proud of himself for it. I mean, I would be too because I mean, I've never built a PC. My brother could, but me? No, ma'am, I can't. My talents don't lie in that era. Area. He did it in an affordable way because he didn't want to spend a lot of money, but he wanted to be powerful enough that he could run Source Engine games like TF2, BF3, or Sa Cyrus. I've never heard of any of these games, being honest. And in my honest opinion, this eyeshadow palette is pigmented. Yes, blend. Just to play Team Fortress 2 for a little bit of nostalgia and again, saving money while building it just to play some of these games. I'm using some of the orange color and my orange in Flavortown was the red color from Raw Beauty Christie's amazing video where she turned into Guy Fieri. That's one of my favorite videos of hers because I'm a true Raw Beauty Christie stan. But this orange and red looks like hot Cheeto dust and now I'm craving that too. So they popped on their Halo game into the disc tray of the computer to start playing it. He had memories of playing this game with groups of his friends in his past and he just wanted to relive some of those memories, some nostalgia from his younger years. I'm gonna cut my crease and as soon as he put the game in, he had issues with it, installing it apart from it being like the usual issues with Windows 7. He didn't have the CD key because it's tied to some other computer, he said. He said he wasted about an hour of his life and he was really frustrated trying to reboot, restart his computer, install this game. But it didn't take him long to look at workarounds around it so that he could still play it somehow, try to fix it. He eventually found a keygen, which I guess is some device to help, I have no clue, <laughs> to help him start the game up. So he picked up a random game to see if it will work finally just to test it on his PC. A pop-up appeared and said that he needed to update his server, but it was a weird one and the error messages on his computer kept getting weirder and weirder. This white color is called Lumos. What was the weirdest thing about these error messages is that some of the words in them would be just replaced with random words that made no sense to them, which would creep me out even more. And to them, it seemed that no one else online had these problems, and when they did, they were told to just re-upload the game. However, he still wanted to play, even if like he couldn't play with other people, and he eventually got the game to work. And he said if there's anyone that's ever played Halo before, there's certain parts of the game on the map that could glitch where people can't really find you. I've never played Halo, so that sounds creepy. In the game, he lined himself up against a pillar and tried to nudge himself against a wall. And if you hurl yourself too slowly, you'll just be like knocked off the side. And if you do it too quickly, you'll knock yourself to the wall and into an abyss. And he's trying to get in between there with a few tries. And with some tries later, he finally got in. Again, we're trying to do this like laser beam. 
And this is hard to explain, but he tried to shimmy across the wall to try to get in between it and get pushed off by something invisible, but the invisible thing, he had to like somehow get on it to bounce off of it. Like it's a glitch of invisible, almost like a person it sounds like, that he has to bounce off somehow to almost like hack the system of the glitch. So he finally had this vantage point on this map to where like other people couldn't find him. He was using the glitch to his advantage. But then his like Spartan that he was playing with drops dead. And there's this thing that says Distoned died and he's never seen like a message like that before. And he was trying to see if there was anything that was killing him. So he put his face really close to the screen to see if he could see anything, making sure nothing was hitting him. And his screen was so, his face was so close to the screen, all of a sudden it like went blank for like a second when his nose and face was touching the monitor so close. And it, he heard this creepy screeching noise that he's never heard coming from the game before. He freaked out so bad that he flipped his headset off of his ears and then freaked out that everything went black and then all of a sudden a random player came onto his screen like to join the game the player had just joined a seemingly impossible like space and game because he was trying to like i said do all these glitches to his advantage in the map and he thought that it also must have been this person who made that terrible screeching noise he wanted to see if he could shoot at this person. It must have been a female, he said. And he didn't understand because the noise that the person was making or that he heard, the screeching noises, weren't even from the game. So how were they able to do that? He was thinking just maybe it was coincidence that they came onto his game and added him. The outwards of his base seemed normal, but the inside was disturbing, he said. On the left wall inside were words that said, find me. And he forgot that he could chat in the game and a name named Juliet popped up with a smiley face. And he said, who are you? And Juliet says, let's play hide and seek. So I can't talk while I'm doing like this art on my lips and everything, <laughs> tell the story. But I'll put the links down below for everything. I want to finish this art and put some lashes on and I'll be back. And just like that, we are back with our helmet on, lashes, and some detail. And the Halo story got so creepy, the Juliet girl kept playing hide and seek with him. He's like, what do you want me to do? And she's like, just hide. It's so creepy. You could definitely check out those stories below. But that is our finished look of this crewmate from Among Us, the game. I'm pretty sure this is an imposter. I just thought this would be a fun glam look for Halloween. I mean, you don't have to do the dead body. You could just do the mask with the eye makeup and the little skull on the forehead if you want to wear a mask this Halloween season. If you do this makeup, you might have to do it backwards of the writing on the lips, and it's so difficult. These lashes are from Dollar Lash Club in the style Sabrina, and the contact lenses are from PinkyParadise.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and the creepy stories of me turning into this crewmate from Among Us. This game is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. I do videos every Monday and Friday here on this channel with creepy stories and cool makeups. Leave me a comment down below on what other video looks you would like to see on this channel. Love you creators, see you soon. Bye. Oh, bye.